This is the CVAC University of Southern California VSAT scenario. The AllSource analyst receives an email alert to log into the CVAC system. Then receives a set of alerts regarding his area of interest, including a possible credit fraud originating at the University of Southern California campus. The alert takes him to a high level view of campus, which he can then resolve into a higher resolution screen. The analyst declutters the screen by removing vehicle and Twitter feed information. There's still a lot of signal data to parse, however. The analyst uses the shared desktop to send a broadcast for a signals analyst. On the signals expert screen, the signal expert goes to the same area that the all source analyst was viewing and queries the game content provider to weed out some of the non-rogue VSATs. Then uses the dimensional configuration tool to substitute time for the height dimension now sees the VSAT signals staggered in time over one of the buildings. He highlights that area of the map for future reference. Going back to the shared desktop, he lets the all-source analyst know that the building in question is the SAL building, Salvatore Computing Center at USC. Back at the All Source Analyst screen, the analyst receives the signals expert's recommendation and looks at the suspicious building. Turning on the VSAT antenna locator, looks for a VSAT antenna on the building itself but doesn't seem to find anything. On the shared desktop, he communicates this back to the signals expert. Then decides to bring an image expert into the scene. The image expert looks at the suspicious building, using a data provenance tool she notices that the imagery is outdated on the cell building. She goes to a nearby vantage point and requests a photograph be taken of the building to make a new model. give the specs to the photographer. The all source analyst, meanwhile, receives an update from the facilities manager that someone had broken into the building recently. The 
the all source analyst goes to the point of entry and sees a camera there. Looks like another job for the image processor. The image analyst receives the message and goes to that point in the building. Reviewing the security camera footage from near the door, notices a suspicious figure breaking in at the time that was specified. Capturing an image of his face and returning to the desktop, the analyst sends a facial recognition task. The image expert has received the new photograph of the building. And there is clearly a VSAT antenna on one of the corners of the roof. Not only that, it looks as though the VSAT has been modified so that a photodiode can be accessed from somewhere nearby probably via laser beam. Using the line of sight tool, the analyst sees what in the region could have produced a transmission to the VSAT photodiode, but doesn't seem to find anything obvious. The all-source analyst realizes that it might be a particular time of day at which the VSAT was triggered. Scrolling through the morning's recording of the video for the game, notices the tram stops by near the VSAT, but nothing happens as far as the signals are concerned. Two o'clock in the afternoon is a different story. When the tram passes the VSAT, a new signal appears, and the tram is well within the line of sight for the VSAT's photodiode. The all-source analyst believes that this is the answer to the question of how the VSAT was triggered. Lastly, the image expert receives the facial recognition profile back and it turns out that the perpetrator is a person of interest to begin with. Now the analysts can prepare for the next steps and to alert ops for an interdiction strategy.